Okay, so that was like drinking out of a fire hose from John Maxwell on his first three points on how to have a winner's mindset. And he said, number one, it's what you know after you think you know it all that makes a difference. So this comes back to personal development. Are you developing yourself as a leader? Because he said, leadership is about developing not discovering. So many of us want to find that next leader. We want to bring up that next leader. We, we're looking for them everywhere, as opposed to developing the people that have leadership potential around us. We're looking for that person that's already the charismatic person that has people following them. We're like, we want the leader, as opposed to looking within people to see their leadership capacity and their leadership ability, and then developing that. That's why I love doing this for you guys, because I know each and every one of you has the leadership capacity in you that's far greater than what you currently see within yourself. He also said that if you stop developing, you stop leading. So think about the lid on your capacity. When you have a cap on your capacity, that's the cap of your leadership. So you can never lead past the capacity that you currently have. So what are you doing to expand your capacity, to expand your capabilities? Let's use our business as an example. Are you capped out at $2,000 a month? Because that's the size of an organization that you feel comfortable living. So how are you going to get to that next level? You first have to develop yourself to be able to go out and expand your capacity so that you can expand your leadership, so that you can grow your organization, so that you are no longer the cap on your income capacity of your business. Number two for a winner's mindset, don't let anyone steal your dream. Guys, we talk about this all the time. You need to have your why. You need to have a dream. You need to create goal boards, no matter how ridiculous they sound. What that's doing is that setting your brain and your sight in motion to start thinking and seeing in abundance and looking for bigger and better things. But I can guarantee 100% without a shadow of a doubt, when you start saying those things, when you start doing those different things, you will have someone try and steal your dream. That's their entire goal in life. They are dream busters. They believe that because they can't reach their dream, they don't think that you should be able to get your dream as well. So they sit there and they plot and they try. And they, their whole day is waiting for you to post something positive so they can put something negative in the comments. You know, it's unbelievable that that's some people's sole purpose in life is to go around and troll people on the internet because they don't have a good life. So a couple things that you can do, you can see that you can instantly pray for them because you know that whatever it is that they're going through is hurting them because hurt people hurt people. But there are four type of people that you need to look out for that are dream busters. Number one is the cop outs. They're the ones that always have an excuse for everything. There's a reason why things won't work out. They're always looking for the negative excuse why something won't work. Not only that, that it won't work for you. Number two are the burnouts. They're the people that just work hard, 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 but they're working at the wrong things. They're working on the things that don't actually matter. They, they work on the things that don't produce results. So therefore, they get upset, they get frustrated, they get angry, and they get burnt out. Number three is the strikeout or the failure syndrome. They, they are the ones that get knocked down, but they don't get back up. So watch out for the person that when something bad happens, they always move on to something else, which leads to the number four, which is the dropouts, the quitters. You know, when the going get tough, the tough don't get going. It's the dropouts that get going. So watch out for those. But also as a leader, you have the ability to interact with these people and hopefully impart goodness into them. So with the cop-outs, you can help them to see that what they're doing is limiting their potential. With the burnouts, you can show them how to focus on the things that create results. 
for the strikeouts, you can encourage them to get back up and get going again. And for the dropouts, you can ask them if they're quitting because of frustration or if it's something that's strategic. Said, make sure that you hang around fire igniters and not firefighters. Hang around the people that are going to bolster your dream, that are going to push you towards your dream, that are going to support you towards your dream, not those who are constantly trying to put out your flame. And number three, you can spend your life any way you want, but you only get one shot at it. So this is, this is something that's really cool because if you think about it, you can live your way whatever way you want, but you have to understand that you only get one chance to live it. So are you choosing the things that you want in your life versus just allowing it to go by, to just hang out and watch life happen to you? You need to happen to your life, not let life happen to you. And he said, there's four things that you can focus on to make sure that you live your life well. One, develop and figure out what your purpose is. He said, number one, with purpose, make sure that that purpose includes a significant portion of helping other people, because that will give you the ability to feel significant, to feel feel like you have purpose. When your purpose is tied to other people, it will get you going in ways that going just for yourself, when the going gets tough, you may give up on yourself. But if you're doing something for others, others are relying on you. So you're more than likely to push through. Number two, realize that today matters. Today counts more than any other day because guess what? Today is the day that you have. You don't know about tomorrow, which leads to number three. Tomorrow is a gift. So you're doing what you're doing today to hopefully have a day tomorrow as a gift that can compound what you did today. So look at your days as compounding on top of each other. And as you compound good days, and you compound good weeks, and you compound good months to a good year, you will compound to a great life lived well. And then number four is potential. We are all, me included, living far below the potential that God created us for. And so make it a point to try and live up to the potential that you know God created you for. It is a daily battle. It is a daily grind. It is a daily choice to do things to better yourself and better those around you. The worst thing that could be said about me is that, man, he had so much potential. What I'd rather hear is he left nothing on the table. He lived his best life. He aspired to re reach his potential. You know, when I get to heaven, I want to meet that version of me, the best version of me, and look at him and see the same person looking back at me. I don't want to get to heaven and see the potential person that I was supposed to be and not even recognize him. That would be sad. So guys, make it a point today to live these four things. Purpose, Today matters. Tomorrow is a gift and live to your highest potential. We'll see you back here next week for part two of a winner's mindset and the other three points that John has ready for us. Go out and make it an amazing week. And I hope your day is as awesome as you are. See ya.